Hello everybody. In this video, I'll be doing a very basic tutorial about bringing a Rhino model into Keyshot for rendering without the use of the live linking plugin. If you are already an existing user of Keyshot, you might want to give this video a miss as it's going to be a very, very basic one. Okay, let's start. Assuming that this is the model that I want to render using Keyshot and it's actually made up of two different materials the sphere being gold and this portion being silver okay the thing that we need to be aware of when preparing the model for uh, importing into Keyshot is that they must firstly be assigned with uh, different colors for different eventual uh, materials okay that means to say uh, this portion must be assigned a display color that is uh, different from this okay so so let me click on this and go to the property tab and the easiest way to change the display color is to just go to the display color tab select one color let's say i'm using the yellow okay and over here if i want to change to a different display color i can do the same thing again go to the property windows and go to display color and change it to any color other than the yellow that i've selected so let's select a red one okay yeah so yeah these are the colors that i have uh, associated to this model okay the point to take note is that the colors that you have selected is not really important and will not be uh, reflective of the eventual color that you can uh, reassign in Keyshot. The main idea is to just give different display colors to the various parts of the Rhino model so that when the model is brought over to Keyshot, the various colors can be reassigned a uh, unique material. Okay. Okay, with that, we can uh, save the file for reopening in Keyshot. Okay, um, one last thing to take note is that when you save your file as Rhino for eventual importing to Keyshot, you cannot save it in a wireframe mode. Okay, if you save this in save it in a wireframe mode, you will not uh, be able to see the model inside Keyshot. Okay, Keyshot needs shading and rendering information in order for the model to be shown and displayed correctly. So, with that knowledge, what I'm going to do is uh, I want to save this uh, model in the shaded mode. Okay, you can use shaded or rendered. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I use the shaded mode to go to file. I'm going to save this model. Okay, it's saved as a test.3dm. Okay, now let's head over to Keyshot. So inside Keyshot, you can go to File and directly open the Rhino model. Go to File, Open. Open the Rhino model that uh, we have uh, saved. Click Open. Okay, the next thing to be uh, aware of is to set the Z axis as the up orientation. This will ensure that when the model is bring into Keyshot, it will be of the correct orientation. Okay, so uh, click import. Okay, we have the model inside. Okay. Another uh, useful information um, for Keyshot usage is to press the K key to bring up the hotkey commands okay you can see over here by pressing the k key i'm able to see the various hotkeys are that that can be used with keyshot i will say uh these are pretty important one the tumble being the left mouse button drag pen being the middle mouse button and dolly being the scroll wheel okay these are fairly important ones okay so uh, remember that you can press the k key to bring up this window so that you can go through them and 
understand the various hotkeys okay okay now i want to assign um, materials to the model okay that can be easily done by going to the library window material tab okay material tab and select the material that you want to assign uh, to the model okay so in my case i want to okay um give the model their final material so i go to the goal okay this is going to be a goal so uh polish goal to be precise so i'm going to drag this over here okay so yeah it's that easy by dragging over to the the the, the part we are able to uh, assign it a new material okay so this i want it to be a silver so i'm going to drag this over okay yep okay what if i want to rotate the model a bit okay or move it or scale it okay to do that you can uh, right click over the model go to move model okay if you select move part you only be uh, selecting the part uh, that has been uh, click over for example if you I, so I click here so I will be only be selecting the, the the silver part but I want to move the whole model so I need to click the move model and then uh, I want to do a rotation so I can use the rotate widget Okay, let's say uh, I'm happy with uh, this arrangement, so I can click the the tick sign. Okay. Okay, I think I come to the end of this video. Okay, and if you need to uh, learn how to use the other aspect of Keyshot, you can click on the video link that is shown at the end screen see you around bye